Here's our classic pattern for retrieving data. Here's our service code. We have a get products method that issues an HTTP get request. It returns an observable of product array. So our classic pattern in our component, we wanted to retrieve the data when the page is loaded. So in the ng on init is where we do our subscribe. We store that subscription so that when the page is unloaded in our ng on destroy, we can unsubscribe. But what if we thought about this differently? What if instead of using a procedure, our get products, we instead declared a variable? So here we've got products dollar in our service instead, but it's set to the exact same uh, HTTP get request that we had in our method. The products dollar, that dollar sign is indicating that what we have here is an observable and not the actual data itself. So it's an observable of product array, not the product array. So in our component, instead of our ng on init and our ng on destroy and all of the extra code for managing our subscription, we could just have this. So we define another local variable products dollar and just assign it to our product service uh, products dollar. And uh, you could add some exception handling there. But how are we subscribing and unsubscribing then if we aren't <laughs> technically subscribing and unsubscribing. How do we deal with that? Well, that brings up our next tip, which is to use the async pipe. The async pipe automatically subscribes and automatically unsubscribes for us. So in our template, we have some code like this. So we have our products dollar that we're binding to from our component. We use the async pipe to uh, subscribe and unsubscribe to that for us. The as products clause defines the variable that the value is emitted into, and we can then use that va uh, value throughout our template. So here's our first declarative pattern, our declarative data access pattern. Starting at the bottom, we have our products dollar in our service. In the middle, we have our products dollar in our component, and then in our template, we're using our async pipe. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.